Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just doing a, another quick cook along video today. I'm just doing a carbonara. Um, so I'll just, I'll turn the camera around and I'll get on. I'll put a list of the uh, ingredients and the measurements and in the description, uh, just in case anyone wants to make it. Um, yeah, and I'll just crack on. Right, so um, I've got the ingredients. I'll put a list of that in the uh, description box. First, I'll just apologise for the state of my um, nails. I'm just I'm getting them. I'm doing them tonight and putting some new nails on, so they're like all a mess at the minute. So I do apologise for that. Um, but you're going to need to to make this. You're going to need either spaghetti or tagliatelle. Uh, we we're using tagliatelle. Um, you need 170 grams of pancetta, 484 ml of, you can either use 50% milk, 50% cream, or if you have used about 80% cream and 20% milk, because obviously we need to get the calories really. You just didn't want like a lot of cream in it. You could just use more milk and maybe just, you could even do it with all cream to be fair, but uh, all milk. Um, but I think you do need a little bit of cream in there. Um, you want two egg yolks, uh, 150 grams of grated Parmesan cheese. Some of that's to go in the carbonara and then some's just to um, finish the top. Um, and then some button mushrooms. I've got them, they're all washed and prepped ready. Uh, and that's it. And that's all you need. Oh, yeah, I said about the bacon. And then all we've bought is just a... Um, some blush tomato and garlic flatbread just to serve with it so right um what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put this frying pan on um get the pancetta i'm gonna cook it and then i'll cut it up once it's cooked uh, i'm gonna get the pancetta on get that cooked i'm also gonna put the pan of water on for the tagliatelle and get that boiling um and I've put pancetta because normally we do it with pancetta but we've just it's basically just bacon anyway um so we've just bought some of this uh nice streaky bacon to use this time but you can use anything you could use ham bacon uh you could even use you know the little um chopped up lardons that you get you could even use them just whatever you are for your own personal preference really all right i'll get back to cooking this off the streaky bacon i'm just going to leave that for a couple of minutes and then i'll cut that into uh, small chunks i'll move this ring onto this front one um and then yeah all i've got to do is just wait for the water to come up to the boil and then i'll put the tagliatelle in um and then i'll give it about because then all all i've literally got to do is bring the cream up to a simmer um i'm gonna cook off the mushrooms actually i'll cook off the mushrooms in the uh, bacon pan that i've just cooked there yeah i'll add the mushrooms to there and then i'll add them i normally do them in another pan but i might as well just pop them in that pan while while it's dirty and while we've got all them lovely bacony flavors in And yeah, like I say, it's just waiting for this water to boil. So what I'll do is I'll get this water up to boil. I'll cook off the mushrooms and then I'll come back to you. Just so you're not sat watching a pan of boiling. Right, so the water's come up to the boil now. So I'll just add the 
past doing. Um, I'd say probably if this is just for me and Ross, so I'd say if you normally I'd say about 220, 225 grams, something like that. But I'm just going to put a, I'm not going to bother weighing it out today. I'm just going to put a few of these little balls in. So, yeah, I'll come back in about five minutes. Once this is um, boiling away nicely, I'll come back and we'll start making the sauce. So, mushrooms cooked. I'll get them off the heat. Right, I'll sh oh, you're falling. Right, so mushrooms are cooked. So, I'll get them off the heat. And I'm just going to move this pan back onto the back ring so I can use the one at the front to make the horse if you can hear any uh, noise upstairs it's just Ross and Caden messing about right I'll pop these in a bowl Right, and then all we've literally got to do, I'm just going to bring up I'm just going to pop the milk and cream on the heat I'm just going to put it on a low heat and just slowly bring that up to a low gentle simmer just chop the bacon up into just some little pieces just to go in when we're ready in the in traditional carbonara um they don't use cream it's just eggs um and it is really nice but I'm, I'm, I do like creamy things. And at the minute, I'm trying to, I've lost quite a lot of weight um, in the last couple of years. So um, I'm under the dietitian. I'm actually on like build up milkshakes. Um, so obviously, you know, I'm, I'm in, I wouldn't say I was in a fortunate situation, but I'm in a situation where I don't really need to be watching the calories and things like that. Um, obviously, you've still got to be healthy, and I do. I, I don't eat much sugar at all. Um, right, there's our bacon chopped up. I'll just uh, wash my hands. All we're going to do, once this comes up to like a gentle simmer, I'm just going to whisk in. I'm going to take it off the heat and whisk in the two egg yolks. And then all I need to do is add the mushrooms, add the bacon, add the majority of the cheese, and then we're good to go. Put the flatbread in the oven and that's about it. Nice and quite and simple dish. Like you say, it's even easier if you do it the traditional recipe because I think that's literally just egg yolks and that that's what the sauce is made with just the the eggs right i'm just gonna have a quick drink of my tea and let this heat up and i'll come back to you right this milk's um right so creams come up to the boil so i'm just gonna let that cool a tiny tiny bit and then I'm going to whisk these in really quick and hope the door curdle
just on low heat and then I'm just going to add the bacon. Add the majority of the cheese, just keeping a, a little bit back for uh, finishing, finishing the dish. And just give that a good stir. And you should probably you should give it a minute or so, just give the cheese a chance to melt down. And you can see there the sauce is like like thickened up really nicely. Right, and then I haven't actually, I haven't put any salt in this actual sauce um, because the cheese is quite salty anyway. Um, and I did add salt to the pasta water as well, so we can soon add a little bit if it needs it, but I think it'll be fine. Right, so I've drained off my pasta. And then I'm just going to add the pasta and just mix it all together. Give it a good stir, mix it all around. Bacon mixed in. And then we go, I'll put it in a bowl. To... So I've just put the flatbread in the oven. Uh, that takes 10 minutes. So I'll just, because silly me, forgot to put it in the oven. So I'll clean all my mess up and then I'll show you once I've dished and, uh, and that's it finished and I've just got a couple of slices of the tomato flatbread and I'm gonna go and enjoy now um thank you for watching uh, if you've liked this video if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up yeah so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time take care bye